What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explain how a double barrel wood stove works and why it's better than a single barrel. Today on... All right, so this is how a double barrel stove works. So the bottom barrel is going to be where you throw all your wood in. This is where your fuel's at and all your fire burns. And your top barrel is actually a heat recovery system or a heat exchanger. What do I mean by this? So how I see this system working is similar to how an MLB pitcher throws a pitch into a catcher. So as the pitcher throws the ball at 100 miles an hour, the ball goes in at 100 miles an hour, but the catcher actually catches the ball at 95 miles an hour. So as the ball is traveling through the air, it is actually losing velocity through air resistance and also gravity. And so by the time it gets to the catcher's mitt, there's still pot potential energy, but you lose some as the ball travels through the air. So similar, this bottom barrel is kind of like your 100 mile an hour release point, and your top barrel is your 95 mile an hour catch point. And so your top barrel kind of acts as a heat recovery system as it's caught, and then your bottom barrel acts as the source. So in this system, the smoke has to travel through both barrels. So you have a fire in the bottom barrel, it goes out, up through the connecting rod, back through the top barrel, and then out towards the chimney. And in this process, the smoke traveling is warm, and so all that heat is caught in the top barrel, and the heat that's radiating from the bottom barrel also gets caught in the top barrel as well, which is where the heat recovery comes into the system. So instead of just losing all that heat that's rising up from the bottom barrel and all the heat that you gain from the smoke traveling through the system, what we're doing is capturing all that potential energy or heat in the top barrel and using it to blow air into the shop in order to get a more efficient system. An additional modification that people make to double barrel stoves is putting two inch tubing actually through the top barrel here to make this a true heat exchanger. And so what they'll do is put a fan, mount that right on the end here, and there'll be hot air going through the coils of the tubing and then blowing that air just like your furnace in your house, ultimately making this kind of like a heat cannon going into the shop. I'll link a couple photos up right now. But ultimately, that's why people love these so much. I don't have a welder, so I can't do that, but it seems like an easy, easy modification to do in order to make this more efficient. Ultimately, that's why I think a double barrel stove is better than a single barrel, but let's talk about some downsides. Obviously, number one is gonna be space. You need the additional height to get the double barrel stove up. Two is gonna be cost. Obviously, you need to have the cost of the, the second barrel and the feet but that's about a $40 adder to this whole project, and I think it's worth it, so it is a con, but still. And then third is gonna be creosote buildup. Um, since the smoke has to travel through uh, both barrels, sometimes these chimneys have worse creosote buildup, and so just gotta be careful with that and clean out your chimney regularly. All right, so that's why I think a double barrel stove is better than a single barrel. If you wanna learn how to make your own double barrel stove, make sure to check out my last video, link in the description below. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.